Hello, Gemini. It's my lady from Malay's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week. I mean, sorry, weekly weekend reading for the weekend of November. Nope, it's jeez, it's October fourth, two thousand nineteen. The cards I'm using today are Spirit Song Tarot by Pauline Cassidy. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. All right, guys. Let's get this show on the road. All right. What's going on? Oh, sorry. What's funny is I was, I was thinking. I was like, nope. I'm not going to say that. Because there's nothing funny about that. Nothing funny about it. But I, let's go. All right. What's going on with the Gemini? Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. All right, so we got the five of crystals here. So I do feel like somebody may be spending more than they should be, okay? More spending. All right, so we got the emperor card here. So I do feel like um, somebody may be a manager, some kind of boss, business owner. But I do feel like somebody is uh, spending way too much money. Somebody should be doing something in, in increments. But I do feel like somebody is doing in bulk, <laughs> big bulk. All right, so we got the ace of feathers here. So I do feel like somebody's getting ready to lose some kind of empire. I think it's because somebody cannot find a, a, a better way to do it, okay? Um, right now, I feel like somebody should just do it in small portions. I feel like somebody is just doing too big of portions, proportions right now. Too big. Okay. All right, so we got the high priestess here. Mm. Okay. I need to see what this ace of feathers is about cuz I'm I'm sort of feeling somebody just can't find a solution on how to do things, but I'm also feeling like I feel like somebody just keep putting money into a situation or keep putting time into a situation. And I feel like somebody is like, why isn't anything working right? Okay. But I also feel like there may be a little bit of embezzling going on. But I do feel like somebody is it's just too, doing too much, taking too much out. Oh, goodness. All right. So we got the two of acorns reversed. I do feel like somebody is coming from somewhere they used to be, okay? All right. I'm seeing some weird stuff here. Um, I'm going to flip this one over. All right. So, I do feel like somebody may be some kind of boss, some kind of owner, okay? I feel like somebody is like, where's all the money going? Like, where's all the time going? I do feel like somebody business... Um, I do feel like it's stable, but I feel like somebody's trying to act like it's not. Okay. So I feel like all this money, all this time, all this thing that's going out into this business that's supposedly failing is a lie. Okay. With this card, these two cards, I do feel like there's some kind of secret relationship and there possibly is a pregnancy. When I saw this two of acorns, I said, this is somebody from the past that came back. Because it's like, out of all of a sudden, first, everything is beautiful. We started this new thing. You got this job. I got this job. Everything going right. Nothing's wrong. No problems. Everything's great. Okay? Then all of a sudden, you know, and nothing's going great. So I got to work all this overtime or I got to do all this. I got to do all that. And nothing's making sense until this comes out, this two of acorns and this secret new life. This secret life on the side, okay? And this secret possible pregnancy here. I feel like this came out with this is because I feel like for some is a pregnancy, but it's definitely some kind of new beginning with some past person, okay? Um, but this transition, transformation, 
um, card reverse and this empress, uh, I do feel like somebody may have told this person on the side to um, make sure a fetus doesn't become a baby. Okay, but I think somebody said you're not gonna tell me what to do with my baby. Okay, so they're not listening to that. So, so it's looking like somebody was acting like they was at work and trying to make sure things is going right, spending all this time and money. But I feel like they were spending all this time and money on that person on the side. Okay. All right, so we got the temperance card here. So I do feel like somebody's patiently waiting just for, you know, things to pan out. We work hard for this business. We work hard for this stuff, you know. And we're going to work for it. This is a life lesson. Look at all these major arcanas, okay? So I do feel like somebody had a choice to make. They had made the wrong choice, okay? If the wrong choice is going to be made this weekend, okay? Somebody may want to do some phone calling because there's going to be some children connected to some of these issues. Um, I do feel like somebody is sad about the decision that they made, but I feel like somebody already crossed the line of no return, okay? But I do feel like somebody's trying to figure out what and how they're going to do this. All right, so we got the 10 of feathers reversed here. Oh, goodness. Okay, so I do feel like some forgiveness is getting ready to happen. I know everybody's not going to do it, so please don't yell at me, <laughs> okay? Everybody's not going to forgive, but I do do feel like um a lot of the people are going to forgive and i feel like those are more connected to the people who it was just somebody from the past and not an actual um child being made out of this situation all right oh god okay so i do feel like um i do feel like some of you guys may get married after this fact um i do feel like um, both parties are married, both you, your situation and the other situation, the ex situation. All right. That's the two energies I'm getting from that. And that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon and rising signs. Thanks for watching.